Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about what is AC and DC. AC means alternating current and DC means direct current. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about what is alternating current and what are the advantages of alternating current and what are the applications of alternating current. And after discussing the alternating current, we are going to discuss what is DC current and what are the advantages of DC current and what are the applications of DC current. And finally, we will, we will conclude which is better, whether the AC is better or DC is be better. At the end of the session, we are going to conclude. Okay, now, let's start what is AC current first? Alternating current is an electric current which periodically reverses its directions and changes its magnitude continuously. AC is the most commonly used and most preferred electric power for household equipment, offices and buildings and etc. Now if you see the waveform of the AC, this is the alternating current waveform. Okay, it is a positive off cycle and it is a negative off cycle and positive off cycle, negative off cycle and the positive, the waveforms are coming uh, alternatingly. That's why it is called as a, a alternating current. Okay, if you see the uh, magnitude here, if you see that, if, it is, if you take that it is a current and it is a time period, its magnitude is also changing. Now it is the in zero position and it is in maximum position. Again, it is zero position and it is a negatively maximum. Again, it comes to the zero position. The magnitude of the, the quantity is changing continuously here. Zero, maximum, zero. Again, it is reverses maximum value. And again, it is continuously changing. That's why it is called as alternating current. Okay, now, if you see the circuit here, this is a simple circuit, which is having the AC source as well as the load here. It is a load is a bulb. Okay, in this circuit, the alternating current flows. The current flows alternatingly here. This bulb works based on the AC supply only. Here, uh, Serbian American engineer Nikola Tesla invented the first alternating current that is the AC motor and developed the AC generation and transmission technology. Nikola Tesla is invented the AC current. There are two types of single uh, supplies here. What that is single phase AC supply and the three phase AC supply. If you see the single phase AC supply waveform, this is a single phase AC supply waveform. It is having only one waveform, which is having positive off cycle, negative off cycle, and positive, negative, and positive. We will get the continuously. In single phase sub AC supply, we have only one waveform. If you take the three phase AC supply, in three phase AC supply, there are three waveforms. Okay, this waveform name is phase R, it is phase Y, and it is phase B. There are three phases. Okay, we are having a three waveforms here. From each phase to phase, there is a 120 degrees phase displacement here. From phase R to phase Y, there is a 120 degrees. Phase Y to phase B, 120 degrees. Phase B to phase R, again, it is a 120 degrees. From each phase to phase, there is a 120 degrees phase displacement. Initially, the phase R will start from 0. After 120 degrees, phase Y will start. Again, after 120 degrees, phase B will start. So this is a three-phase waveform. Now, if you see, in a single phase connection, the flow of electricity through only with one conductor. Okay, only one conductor is required to transmit the electric power in a single phase supply. While in case of the uh, three-phase connection, there are three conductors are required. There are three conductors are required. Conductors means wires. Here, here only one wire is required for the single phase supply. But for three phase supply, there are three wires are required. In single phase power supply system, the voltage may reach up to 230 volts. The supply voltage of single phase AC supply is 230 volts. While in case of the three phase, the supply voltage is up to 415 volts. Single phase AC supply voltage is 230 volts. Only one wire, that is the one conductor is required. Three phase supply voltage is 415 volts. There are three conductors are required as it is a three phase supply. If you see the applications here, a single phase power applications are commonly used in resi resi residential spaces to power the appliances such as fans, coolers, small air conditioners and lamps. So this is the one of the AC single phase application. We use LED 
and fan and tv and fridge and rice cooker these are the some single phase ac applications for these all applications these are all only small power applications we use single phase phase is indicated by the letter pi if you take the three phase power here three phase power is mainly used to power the large induction motors electric motors and other heavy commercial and industrial buildings we use three phase machines okay this is the one of the three phase machines which works with three phase uh, supply and this is also one of the uh, large machines we which we uh, which we use in industries and it, it takes three phase supply only okay simply for small power applications like bulbs fans and what are the applications we are using in home requires single phase supply the large machines which, which we are using in the industries it takes three phase supply so these are the applications of single phase ac power and the three phase ac power now if you take the direct current dc in direct current the electric charge flows only in one direction this is a dc signal we have only in one direction so there is no periodic waveform so as it is a dc we have the signal in only in one direction so this is a simple circuit okay by using the battery we are giving the dc supply the current flows only in one direction this is the simple dc circuit which is having the battery and the bulb uh, thomas edison developed direct current that runs continuously in only in one direction that is single direction like a battery or fuel cell are the examples of the dc okay thomas edison invented the dc supply that is the dc current if you take the applications of the dc we use dc in batteries there are two types of batteries that that is both non rechargeable and rechargeable batteries can only supply dc current and electronic equipment also we use dc all major equipment like cell phones computers radios and all electronic equipment use dc supply to the electronic circuits okay these electronic equipment like in mobile phones in mobile phones to charge the battery we require dc supply because this battery takes only dc okay to that's why we use the uh, dc circuits to charge the mobile phones this is by use this is a charger by using this charger we can charge the battery and in electric vehicles also we use dc supply because in electric vehicles we use the battery okay battery takes only dc that's why the dc supply is very very important in the electric vehicles without dc we cannot charge the battery in cp also okay in computers we use cpus okay in cpus we use the dc supply only these are the uh, uh, dc applications okay now we'll see advantages of ac over the dc AC is less expensive and easy to generate than DC. So now AC can be transmitted across the long distances without much energy loss, unlike DC. Uh, the, the power loss during the transmission in AC is less when compared to DC. In DC, the power transmission losses are very high compared to AC. The AC voltage as the advantage of stepping up and stepping down as per the requirement we have the one device called as a transformer by using the transformer we can step up the voltage and step down the voltage based on our requirement this flexibility we are having in case of ac but we don't have the stepping up and down facility in case of the dc so that is a major advantage of alternating current next we'll see advantages of dc over ac so dc transmission requires a less conductor material than ac transmission because they use only two conductors here okay as the two conductors are required the less conducting material we can use so that's why the cost of the uh, uh, transmission also decreases the major advantage of dc form is that it is simpler to store than ac so we can store the dc uh, in the batteries so that is not possible in case of ac you can store dc here there are no capacitance in the dc transmission therefore there is no power loss due to the charging current so because of this charging current in case of ac there are some losses so that's why here as there is no capacitance in dc as there is no capacitance in dc here that's why there is no charging effect so the power losses are less in case of dc <clears throat> the big advantage of the dc current is that it is easier to change the speed of the electric dc electric motor than it is for ac one 
okay the speed of the motor we can change in the electric uh, motor very easy in case of the dc it is not possible in case of ac these are some advantages of ac and dc so if you see here both are having their own advantages now see which is better whether the ac is better or dc is better so ac is having the, its own advantages and dc is having its own advantages so in ac it's, uh, we have the single phase applications as well as the three phase applications in our home to operate the bulbs fans acs we require the ac okay to store the battery we require dc okay so that's why we cannot say whether the ac is better or dc is better so both are having its own importance my conclusion is both are important okay ac as well as the dc